welcome back to my channel once again my darling so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how i made this ankara headpiece okay but before we get started please subscribe to my channel if you've not turn on the post notification bell like and share as well <music> So to make this Ankara headpiece, you've been needing your Ankara material, any one of your choice. You've been needing your scissors, shock, um, elastic, that of one inch, and then your tape, and of course, your sewing machine. <laughs> all right. So now let's set all these things aside and get to it. Okay. So the first thing you need to do is to fold your Ankara fold it into two always make sure you are marking on the wrong side of your ankara piece because you wouldn't like um the shock mark to show on the right side okay so turn it to the wrong side and then you measure out the length and the width of the headpiece so for the length we'll be using eight inches okay now note that this measurement is for kids all right but if you want to make fun adults just increase the measurement by two or three inches all right yeah so you measure out the width i'm going to be using seven and a half for the width okay so you mark out seven and a half make sure your hands are straight okay so you mark Mark, mark, mark. <laughs> yeah, and then you cut. Then you place it again you place the one you've cut out again on your fabric and cut again because you'll be needing two of these okay you be needing two you get to know why you need to <laughs> so keep watching to the end yeah so the next thing you need to do is to fold your Ankara material again into two. And then you measure out four inches. Measure out four inches length and then three inches width. And you cut. Now you set this one aside, set every other thing aside and get to the sewing. <laughs> okay, so these are the three pieces you'll be needing for this um, headpiece. So first thing you have to do is just to fold this into two and then you sew. Sew it all the way down. Okay, remember to lock your stitches at the beginning and at the end of the sewing then you pick up the big one fold as you can see i'm folding to the wrong side not the right side 
you fold and you sew. Now once you're done sewing, you cut off the thread and then you turn it out, okay? So this is just an easy way I do um, turn out my materials if I want to turn them out. So I just take a safety pin, insert the safety pin to the material, close it up and then push it in and just do it the same as you have seen me do now then turn it out okay it makes out it makes the turning out process very very easy for you so that is what i do <laughs> okay so once i have my safety pin with me turning out is very very easy to do and then you do the same for the big ones So I'm done turning this out. Now the next thing I'm going to do is just to go over to the table and get this ironed. Alright? Yeah. So now I'm done ironing this. You see how nice, neat and flat it is. Okay. Now um, I had to make the same area to be at the center. Okay. Like that. Yeah. So the next thing I'm going to do is to pick up the big ones, then place it like that, fold one, then insert the other one like that. Okay, make sure it's like this, okay, and then you stretch it out. stretch it out, arrange it very well, making sure that they are equal, alright, making, making sure that the two ends are equal, yeah, and then you join the two ends together, the two ends of each part, okay, you join it together and then you sew it up neatly with just about half inches. Cut off the excess thread, then do the same on the other parts. So this is how it's gonna be looking after you've done that, yeah. Just look at that cute scrunchy plate. At the center of it you see that you see how neat and cute it is now pick up the small piece and then your elastic with the help of your safety pin <laughs> you insert the elastic into it
Now remove the safety pin. Yeah, and then you sew that part. And then you do it like you see me do now, just drag down the Ankara piece. Yeah. Then measure out four inches. Make sure it's up to four. This is me shaking if it's four inches yet. So I have to push it in a little bit. This is about five inches. I have to push it in a little bit. And yeah, I have my four inches. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and sew this. I'll cut off the excess one and set it aside. <laughs> so we're almost there, okay? Yeah. So the next thing you have to do is to pick up the big one place the little piece or the elastic at the center close it you can place it anywhere at this point then close it like that hope you saw what i did okay let me show you once more take this place it at the center fold one end and fold the other end so like you're wrapping it up okay and then you go ahead and sew it up make sure you lock your stitches And then you turn it out. Sewing it like this makes um, um, helps you hide um, the seam. Okay, so when you turn it to the other side, you won't be seeing um, the seam. Okay, now you place it. You do the same thing on the other side too. You wrap. Wrap it up like that and then you sew. Cut off the excess thread. And then you turn it like that. And voila! <laughs> the Ankara headpiece is ready. It is ready, so so ready. It is ready, done. <laughs> so guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're gonna try this DIY. Thank you so much for watching, until next time, bye.